love you. Oh. I love you too. <laughs> this is my favorite. Wait, really? <laughs> Holy sh You're a little nutty, aren't you? <laughs> Cheers. All right. Please. What do you know about Thai food? Oh, are we talking about like pad, like pad thai? Thai tea. I've but never had. Thai you've never had Thai food. No. I've been. You know what's so You know what's much. sad about this? I've been to Phuket. It was a long time ago, though. Walking through the streets of any major Thai city, and you'll find plenty of carts selling delicious treats. We rounded up a handful of Thai street foods for you to try today. Okay, hey, this I'm this excited. Be <laughs> also, I'm gonna apologize in advance for my attempts at pronunciation. I am trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know. Yeah. Very excited. Dare I say bring on the spice? Oh, she got some. Yeah, a little, thing <laughs> a little like spin. Wow. Yeah. She's like swinging it onto this like huge rope. Oh, it's a potato. It looks like garlic balls or something. That's not a potato. That's like meat. This is like a meat rope. Are they necklaces? Are they that big and you kind of eat them like? Arr, arr. It's like a meat garland. What is it? Little baby sausages. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. We're putting it in a bag. Okay. What, I'm so confused. What is this? Oh, there's oh, fancy okay. meatballs. I feel like if I stay away from the peppers, I'm gonna be fine. Ooh, I can smell the spice. It smells really good. It smells really good. Okay. Mm. It's a little sour. Is it like onion? No, like it can't be onion. Like sweet and sour sauce on it or something? Sai Krok Isan is a fermented sausage from Northeastern Thailand that's grilled and served with bird's eye chilies, cabbage, and ginger. I'm not a fan mm. of sausages, but this one is good. Yeah. This is a banging snack. I'm getting tempted Should to touch a pepper. Yeah, let's not do gonna it. Lie. Thought you had a lot. Ah, okay. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> she let out a maybe spit those out of her mouth, guys. Why are we <laughs> very bell peppery. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> what? Why did you just, what was that? Ah! Like a spicy bell pepper. Spicy bell pepper, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I want to try this red one though. Is this one hotter? Oh my God. <laughs> Why did you do it again? Oh. Yeah, people just snack on those. <laughs> How do you just snack on that? Mm, let's go with the spice though. Mm -hmm. Ugh, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> we just started. I dig that. That's really freaking good. <laughs> what the f was that? What was that? It's the spiciest food I've ever had in my life. <laughs> what is this? Oh, like little pancakes? Is this it salty? Is this sweet? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like pancakes. Yeah. Is this gonna be like some sort of like crepe? You think it's sweet or savory? On the sweeter side. Okay, what, what's the filling? That's what I'm curious about. Different what? colored onions? Okay, so these okay, are like... It's like a crepe taco. It's like a crepe taco, yeah. Ooh. It looks like squash. They look Ooh, like little uh, tacos. Yeah. I will say the texture of this is very reminiscent of a uh, fortune, fortune cookie. cookie. Kanam buang are a crispy, crunchy crepe with a sweet cream filling and toppings that range from sweet to savory like candied duck egg yolk. Oh! oh. So <laughs> like, it's a dessert. Okay, okay. Great. Is that what this is? Hell yeah! My brain was so not anywhere near candy duck yolks. Cheers! All right. Please. What's it be so hot? I'm scared. I know. <laughs> okay. This is pretty oh, so good. So it's kind of like a um. What what are they called? Those white things that like go in a swirl that have a little pointy meringue. Meringue. It's like coconut. a crayon. <laughs> I said coconut. You said crayon. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. It's giving like melted marshmallow like stickiness. Exactly. The crepe. Tastes like a fortune cookie, but flakier. Yes. I wasn't expecting something sweet from like a Thai place. Me too. Like, I was expecting it to food. all be spicy and like, yeah, or like tongue burning. Mm, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just, everything you do just surprises me. Green, Green papaya, papaya salad. salad. Mm. Somtam. I probably said that so badly. <laughs> oh, is that the dressing? Oh, is that the dressing? It's like with the guacamole, how they use yeah, the, yeah. Um, the wooden <laughs> thingy. Interesting. I've never, I've never seen this dish before. Oh, they have it down to a science. They went blah, blah, blah. But they're mixing it with seeds. It's giving very flavor. No, I didn't know you could get a salad as a street food, though. Okay. It's funny that they just crush it like that. I yeah. can't even remember like what a papaya tastes like. Okay, get it all. It hurts my teeth. It doesn't hurt your teeth. It looks like my lunch from when I went to school a long time I ago. I was about to say that. It looks like a school lunch. Everything in a bag, always. Ooh. 
It's like limey. It's like I was gonna say vinegary, but it's not. It's so not. Ready, Jackson? Are you ready? It actually smells really good, though. It smells very healthy. Right, Before let's... you guys dig in, we've got a super tasty message from today's episode sponsor, Disney Dreamlight Valley. Hey, oh. let's go, Disney. So cute. This sounds perfect for people versus food. These cookies start with a sprinkle of sweet and a bit of magic thrown in. One of my favorite things about Disney Dreamlight Valley is cooking in the kitchen with Remy. You cook with items fresh from your village like this ginger I got while gardening with Wally. Next, we mix in our flour and voila, delicious dough. Now we roll it out and cut out my favorite character, Minnie. Throw it in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for 10 minutes. Once it's cooled, let's add the details. Some squiggles for the ears and that iconic mini smile. And of course, a sprinkle of enchantment. Plus, you can share your treats with your friends in the valley. So be sure to check out Disney Dreamlight Valley, a new life simulation adventure video game out now for PC and console. And be sure to buy the Founders Pack edition of your choice to get early access today. Let's get back to the episode. Som Tam is a very popular and tasty Thai snack that originated in Northern Thailand. Mm. Contains a mixture of shredded green papaya with tomatoes, carrots, peanuts, string beans, garlic, fish sauce, and chilies. Mm. Mm. Careful, mm. however, as it tends to be a little spicy. <laughs> Thai food I know is known for their spice. They, mm. god damn. I'm trying to get this little bean, okay. Wait, I like, oh, there we go. <laughs> You knew okay. this whole time. It was great for two seconds. Ooh, oh no, we're having a turbulent failure. It's going down. No, we gotta save the passengers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That was a. Sh <laughs> it's not bad. I like it. It's flavorful. It's like it's like a good amount of spice just before my eyes start watering. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. Oh my god. <gasps> It's like a, it's a very peppery spice. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not dying that much here. It just feels like I am. It's, it's a very. Um, <clears throat> this is in testicle. How do people eat this? We're literally gonna be turning red by the end of this episode. Mmm, mm. peanuts. You're a little nutty, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> my, my tongue is throbbing. Yeah, I'm not a salad girly, but this doesn't even taste like salad. Like it all just tastes good. Like every part of it. This dish is actually the national dish of both Laos and Thailand. Hell yeah! I can see why. This is good. It's more spicy than Indian food. This is their snack, so this is their national snack. Like, this is so healthy, it's yeah. crazy. And can we take the chili out? And yeah. then it would be great for me. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like the, the crunchiness was good. <laughs> mm. Oh? Oh, it's like oh fried chicken or fried shrimp. I'm getting fried chicken vibes. Mm-hmm. Is this fried chicken? Okay, maybe it won't be spicy. Is that cheese inside? Maybe a fish? Oh. Oh, is this, what like, fish? is that? What is this? What is that? I'm so scared. What are those black little things? Yeah. Oh my God, what is that? Is that raisins? It's giving like bean sprouts, maybe. That looks spicy. So yeah, don't touch that. Is that kimchi? Is that like carrot juice? I'm very curious as to what is... this is, because like there's a lot of stringy stuff in there. Yeah. What is this? Uh, I'm so excited! This smells nice. It looks good. What is it? I'm confused. I need you to explain first. Pikai Yutsai Tad, or deep fried stuffed chicken wings, are the stuff of legend, and they are often eaten as a starter or snack on their own. There's a lot going on in the middle of this. I'm scared. Mmm. The little stringy bits are chicken? No, 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 no. no. The, the, outside, these are, the outside is chicken? I think I'm in love. Me too. There's noodles. There's chicken, I think. Mm -hmm. What is the little black thing? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Yo, there's a sauce? What the heck? There's mm. sauce. Please try the sauce. <sighs> Nicole. <laughs> it's Not sweet. Bad. Yeah. Nicole. You scared us. You tricked us. This looked scary, but it's actually so good. Okay, I would have that at a restaurant. Yeah, same. What's it called so I can ask next time I go to yeah. a restaurant? Pick guy you'd say Todd. Pick. I'm gonna just roll the react clip when I order. Yeah. <laughs> this one's very interesting. This is not quite what I thought it was gonna be as far as like Thai food. Because my brain is so just like fixated on like pad thai or curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's nice to see like there's obviously a lot more to it. These are really good. I'm trying to save my appetite, but I'm telling you, 
the the texture is. Yeah, get off! What am I? What am I saying? Oh, I just bleeped. Idag blir det Thailand slap guy. Vi börjar med cykling i melök. Oh, what's going on? Is that pork? He's just saying words. Cheese chives. I heard fresh chili. Okay. It's a chili salad. A spicy salad. A spicy salad. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. I'm, I'm very curious about this one. Ooh. This looks cute. This one looks really good, honestly. Yeah. Very limey and cilantro-y. Ooh, I like that. Okay, wait. I love this. Do you love it or do you larb it? Is this is larb. I larb you. Oh. I larb you too. <laughs> larb is a savory minced meat salad that originated in Laos, but shares a lot of history with its neighbor in Isan, and is a truly unique and special dish that is loved all over Thailand. I get why they larb it. Delicious. Jair's just stopped talking. All she's doing is eating. Yep. Yeah. And, and Nicole strikes again. This is. I think this is my favorite so far. This is really good. I love the cilantro notes from like. The lime and the oh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a savory meat with a lot of onion in here. Uh, it's got some heat to it. It goes to the back <gasps> of your throat. Yes, it does. <laughs> but it's just like something you keep eating, and it's just nice. Uh, I came here to eat food. I'm being tortured. This thing, this dish is warming me up right now. Damn. <laughs> like you don't even need to put fire in your food anymore. Just put some lime in your yeah, food. It's gonna everywhere. cook it for you. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. This is just like meat. It's like a good meat, you know? Is it's... it a salad? Meat salad, I mean, I'm trying to think of like things that we can compare it to. I've had Mexican meat salad, like, yeah. you know, like mm. a, like one of the, the chipotle bowls. You go to chipotle and you get okay. like leaves and you put some meat, it could be a meat salad. A meat salad. Crispy fried banana. That sounds great. Crispy, Crispy fried, fried uh, banana. Nope. The hell yeah. yeah. Nope. What? Like fried plantains mm. are great. Oh, yes. that looks like churros, but banana. Yeah. So we're, we're nearing the end, so we're doing the sweet things now. Ooh. Mm. What's happening, Jair? Mm. Ah. Chloe Todd are a warm and comforting deep fried banana in a sweet batter that makes a great on the go snack or dessert. Come on. Mm. This is a very familiar flavor. Funnel cake? Funnel cake. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I expected sweeter. I don't know why. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. This really is just like a funnel cake banana. I like this. No spice. I will eat it. I love this. <laughs> this is literally a donut. It reminds me of a um a bear claw donut. A banana that's been fried. There was more. <laughs> With little black seeds. <laughs> I would love more sweetness though. I love really sweet dessert, so I'm gonna do dessert. I want like sweet. You sweets. can put the milk. <gasps> no. That looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my good. god. It is good though. This has been such a good episode. I the whole way the whole way through. <laughs> yes! I told you! Mm. Mango sticky rice? Mango, mango sticky, sticky rice. rice. Oh, it's another dessert. I've heard about mango okay, sticky rice me before. Too. I've never tried it though. Same. This is the sh. This Ooh. is the sh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Rice with ranch. It's not ranch. Not every <laughs> wine is. like that I is swear. ranch. What is that, Jack? Ranch. This is ranch. I'm in ranch heaven. It's finally happened, everybody. Whoa. All right. This this is my favorite. Wait, really? <laughs> Holy sh. How Niao Mumwang, or Mango Sticky Rice, is probably one of the most iconic Thai desserts and a very popular one to find at street vendors all over the country. Mango. This is crazy. This is, I think I must have had this as a child at one point, because this is bringing back like weird memories. And I can tell this is a coconut sauce from the smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not ranch either. <laughs> coconut. Mm. Yeah, the like, okay, that sauce actually was like kind of sour. What? Mm -mm -mm. I f love mango sticky rice. Like this is so good. I'm absolutely in love with this. Something I would have in like a tropical island. Yeah. On vacation. On vacation. Hmm. It's so basic and it works so well. I'm not a mango fan, but like I would eat this. It's so interesting because I would never pair rice with, with a mango. Yeah, and coconut sauce. Yeah. This is like one of the best things I feel like I've ever had. <laughs> this is crazy. Even though I don't like sweets, this is actually pretty good. It's bringing back the like core memories to him when I was like maybe four. Didn't you literally go to Thailand? I did, yeah. I maybe maybe I had it there. I'm I'm like the the food reviewer from Ratatouille right now. You know, he takes a bite. Ten points. Twenty. 
Back to you, Nicole. <laughs> I survived. I feel great. I thought I was actually gonna die this whole episode. Did Which you one was your favorite? This. This really? mango. I want to mango to Thailand. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this Thai street food episode. I look really nervous right now. You do too, because neither of us can handle spice. But for you guys, we're gonna Thai chili pepper challenge. All right, subscribe, like, all the things. Bye. Instant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god. I need my hair. Okay, bye.